Hey y'all, today we have Jay Carson joining us from South Africa, who is a global photographer, works with brands, captures interesting people and places, and will give you um, some tips and tricks on how to uh, get your name known. Hey Jay. Hey, hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm fine. Thanks I'm for joining to us here. today. Glad to be here. A lot of people are excited to uh, talk with you and learn more about your life and uh, some of your work. Um, I'm well known as Jay Carson. I'm a global brand specialist. I'm a creative director. I'm a content creator. I'm a photographer. I'm a visual artist. I'm multidisciplined. I work with different brands, like uh, from fashion, um, car brands, um, food, every industry where like they need branding, I'm involved. So I can just brand anything. I am one with the earth and my abilities can just make anything a brand because life is branded. Even today for us to know about everything in life, it's because of everything was branded, you know? How did you learn how to be um, one with the earth? As you said, um, how, how does that help you? How does that help you in branding? Look, nature is consistent. You know, even you can see my background right now. I'm one with the nature, and um, I do everything in a good spirit. Since like I'm a free thought, and I'm everything runs with me. With um, like I look for a clear vision into everything. That's my secret when it comes to like achieving my goals into the branding. Like, even when I was young, I was just, like, you know, passionate about what I'm going to become. And for me to be whatever I am, I had to be one with the earth and believe in my clear vision. And I think had to be consistent through nature. So can you tell us a little bit about more about your childhood? You said I always knew. Or uh, younger, what is it? Tell us more about your childhood and what made you become who you were, who you are. Um, I'm inspired by my surroundings, you know. I was raised uh, around like uh, different community. I was I was raised in different communities, from high class to um, underprivileged people. So all of that, when it came together, it just gave me an inspira inspiration of making a change wherever I go in life. And and as I was growing up inside the industry, I realized that it's all about who you know and what you know. And I started knowing people who are doing this, the work that I wanted to, you know, to achieve. And I connected myself with those people from an early age. And those people guided me through the process of me becoming what I am today. And what I'm thankful for is for like, um, is, is for God, for giving me the ability to reach out to these people with a, with, with a good approach. The people that helped me to become uh, to become like a, a global brander, those people actually gave me a chance when I needed the chance. And I thank them since like, it's all about who you know and what, it's not about what you know, it's about who you know, you know. So as growing up, that's a principle which like I, I applied everywhere, you know, about knowing someone who would get me to that level where I want to be because I can know that I want to be a global brander. But Who's going to get me there? Who am I going to speak with to get me there? You know, I have to know people who would help me to reach my goal. What advice do you have for people that may not know anybody that, um, like we had a photographer on the other day. She's a young architecture student. Um, she's just now discovering and learning. So how do you, what advice do you have? How do they find these people? How can they help them? Um, these people are just, they're, they're normal people like us, you know? They, um, you, you make contact, you, you go to spaces where they always, if photographers, because uh, here in South Africa, we have like a city known as Johannesburg and it's a cultured city, same with New York. So before I even moved to New York, I, I already like built my, my, my client or my contact list in Johannesburg. And that contact list is the one which helped me to get to New York and global branding even in other countries and an advice that I can give is to shoot proper content and write good proposals and just pick up the phone and call the office yeah I love that 
I mean, yeah. now we're all online. And so I feel like the barriers have come down a lot. So it's not that they need to get on a bus and go to New York. Have you seen that there's been new opportunities that people can take advantage of because everyone now is okay with doing like either messages on Instagram or emails? Like what, how can they, how can people research them? get themselves known in this like really good time where they don't need to invest in traveling or um, going send to an country. email send an email you know me yeah. straight up I was I, I write good proposals so something good you can't ignore it I can't say it's actually what I write it's incalculable meaning it's too great to be measured or calculated you know it's something <laughs> that they it's something that they needed you know, it's something that the brands need. I have to be a good fit for the brands. Yeah. Can you talk to us a little bit about how your art developed, how you worked on your art? Like, how did you get good? Uh, you obviously didn't work good when you started. So what did you do in order? To... I was good when I started. <laughs> <laughs> for real, I was good. Because uh, I was good. Sure how, how old were you? I was, like, I never believed in stuff like when you start, you're not good. I've been good since from start. That's why, like, that's why I'm here today. Uh, I've been good start? since from start. Uh, age, uh, I can't, like, I don't know what the age, but let's say 2010, 2011. Um, that's where, like, I was interested in, in, in media, industry, traveling, and, you know, all that. And I had it in me, you know, I was like, I know I'm the best. I can do this. What about you know? the art? Like, obviously, you didn't know how to edit when you were born like how do you learn how to do those things practice like practice practice makes perfect i i, I, I yeah. gave my, myself time to do this work so as time goes you know like you get better at it you know focus on on your craft like focus on your craft all the time just focus on what you're doing focus it's a big thing if every day i wake up and 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 and, and water a plant it will grow you know, so I've been watering myself since, and here I am, you know, just so one with the... Has there ever been a time where you were discouraged? Yeah, there is time that, that never, like, really took me down, you know? I was like, okay, the world is another day. There will always be another day. There will always be another day. If I, if I don't get whatever that I want, it's just like another day. There will always be another day. Nature is consistent. That's awesome. So you, so I see we... You've worked with some really big brands. You again even traveled to New York and worked with them. What is like one shoot that you really loved, or um, what, something you participated in that you felt like you made a really big impact in? Um, it's a global campaign for Puma North America and Sneaker Lab. Um, it's a uh, way like uh, we did a shoot on Forty Second, where like it was a full production shoot. And uh, you know how 40 seconds is so busy. Um, we had yeah. to just like you know yeah. ask everyone to stop for us to shoot. We had to do like a whole art direction thing around colors and you know, and that photo shoot ended up being like on billboards, subway billboards, and and um, you know, which is like a great thing if when you're in like a billboard and digital billboard in the subway areas, which is great. Yeah. Yeah. For for like. Things like culture, I find really interesting, like places like South Africa, you have like so much modern culture, you have so much like, again, nature behind you, you have so many different types of people. Um, how do you think that artists today, I feel like it's a challenge to, to mix these two worlds, like, on one hand, you want to do the big campaigns like Puma, but on the other hand, people like us are like, what is South Africa? What does it look like? What is it? You know, how does, and this I feel like those stories often get like stuck or they don't get, they don't get like remixed in a way where people are modern life. Uh, how do you, how do you feel about that? Um, like I can go against of what you said right now. Um, okay. South Africa is one of, like I can go against of what you said right now. Okay. Uh, not, not in a bad way. I'm just saying like, yeah, um, no South Africa like has the most, talented people in the world you know South Africa if you can make it in South Africa you can make it anywhere in the world yeah I mean I think now with COVID everyone's had to connect more with their local place and um 
So it seems like you're doing that or you've always done that. So it's probably a more natural transition for you now. Yeah. Stay focused on your work. All the uh, time. And produce. Yeah, um, and produce. <laughs> <laughs> you said you have a bunch of groups that you belong to, but do you have like any artists, like anyone specifically that you go to and you ask them, uh, like, I'm thinking about this. What do you think about this? Or how do you, like, fact check yourself? Or, like, do you have, like, a few people you go to? Or just, you just trust in yourself? No, it depends. I, I pick up the phone and call the head office. And I say, hey, guys. Well, what about, not, your, like, friends? Or, I mean, art, other artists. Like, when you're thinking of something creatively. Like, a creative idea. A creative idea? Um, yeah. To tell you the truth, I never share anything until it's permanent. Um, and especially with my business associates. I see that I get advice from my girlfriend or you know, my partner. Then I ask my partner because my partner has a good eye on things, you know. So um, or my little sister or anyone who's close to me. Not yeah. it doesn't really necessary to be like an artist to get in to say, hey, how do you, what do you think about this? I uh, just did this, you know. I go to anyone, like and say, or even like just like a random person, be like, yo, look at this. They go like, wow. Then the minute I say, I did this, then they be like, ah, oh, for real, you know, for real. This one, like, I know it's good, you know. When someone just goes like it blows their mind before I can even tell them that I, that it's me, you know. But yeah, my partner, she's always there to give me, like, you know, uh, her eye on things. And does your yeah. partner do the, do all the like more pick of business things or how do you split your tasks it's my love partner oh like, your uh, relationship partner okay yeah, my relationship partner she's uh, she's she's an environmental scientist um but she has iron things and um yeah but um when it comes to artists i can't name job now it's just like you know deep people where like i can share but i prefer if maybe if i've asked them to share their names but they are good people with good hearts and that's why i can't pinpoint specifically because like i have so many business associates yeah. and i create with a lot of artists and and you know i it's a very very like uh just like I can't say it's hard to just like pinpoint now. It's just that on the spot, you know, I work with a lot of people. Um, I also like receive an inspiration from from my relationship with my girlfriend, and and it's power, you know, and it's love. Love, I, I apply that principle everywhere. Love is a principle. It's not a thing we like because I'm loving today and tomorrow I'm not loving. Love yeah. is a principle. Uh, my love comes from like loving my partner to my work to everything you know i just apply the principle on everything and i appreciate that so much god blessed me with love and love works through everything and yeah it's the power of love you know? yeah who taught you that who taught me that yeah my mother my mother and she my support, mother. support you supports you yes yeah, my mother supported me all the time. Uh, she's late now. Uh, she passed away in 2018. Uh, she was diagnosed by breast cancer. And yeah, so it's, yeah, even like this hat, it's pink, pistol pink, kind of. Yeah. Um, I was gifted this hat. Um, it was a campaign that I was working on with my little sister for a brand, uh, a head brand known as Simon and Mary. So we we're trying to make sort of like a tribute thing, a tribute photo shoot for all the fallen soldiers uh, who were diagnosed by breast cancer. And pink represents breast cancer. And, wow. uh, yeah, so it's, it's loving that I'm wearing it today. And I'm representing my mother here. You know? Thank you. Uh, and to everyone who's out there diagnosed, diagnosed by breast cancer, we're behind you and hope you have like a speedy recovery go through radiation chemotherapy and just pray to god god will save you at all times and we are here for people uh, in different ways you know like not just through art through health through you know supporting kids who are underprivileged we yeah I mean, every, everyone yeah. I think now yeah. needs to take their own accountability and be able to do what they can do 
Um, and it's yeah. not like you have to wait on other, you don't need to wait on anyone. You can do what you can do wherever you are. So even if you help like a yeah. few people or figure out what you can do, especially online, it's like there's so much communities online that can form quickly. Uh, like you can yes. make a fundraiser in like three days and get even a few hundred bucks for people. Um, so yeah, it's, but it's important yeah, to, to integrate it where you can and have that accountability for people. Like we can fight the prison system all we want and take the resources and put it in education, but it's like, we're not gonna have enough time. So yeah, we're not gonna have enough time. It. The only way is to step up, you know, because I step up in every initiative of giving back. I've opened like a youth organization choir in South Africa known as Demon Club. You can check it out on Instagram. Uh, we've been doing TV shows. I got him sponsored with McDonald's. Um, got him sponsored with uh, Volkswagen. Uh, Volkswagen, where like they gave us two buses, and those buses just transport them through rehearsals and whenever we have shows and even brands like clothing brands like Dickies to give them clothes you know that kind of thing like outfits for performances and I'm there it's a it's a team building thing like I'm there to build that character at all times and we step up we can't just wait for for people to do things where if you see wrong yeah. just then you know stand up and work on it at all times well your advice for sure helped a lot of people uh I've talked to a lot of artists that are, you know, they're starting out. Scopio is a place for artists around the world to get their careers started, to meet yes. other creatives, to get their images shown, to get them used. Um, and so we're that we're a resource. But when you tell them, like, this is how it works, uh, this is the reality, they can understand what the formula is, like how to, to get going. Uh, yeah. Especially for those that are isolated and maybe don't have as many you know opportunities so thank you for sharing all of that and uh thank you for being so good. In the community and i hope to meet you soon yeah we'll link up let's work on something in new york you know i'm looking let's hear it. every 10 is just gonna be a banger i wanna you know do amazing stuff i wanna build walls as same as these ones and and paint murals and do this odd thing you know and um just make it work you know sounds good we'll do our best we're, we're doing as much as we can so we, we should do a meetup we should do a meetup for our south africa photographers too we have a bunch so i'm sure you'd love to meet some of them that would be nice i'm happy awesome yeah all right we'll have an amazing day and uh again thank you for opening your heart to us and being uh open no, thank you. Thank you for having me. And um, I hope everything just, you know, flows the way as how we say it here when people watch it and they'll, they'll, they'll grab something from what we've discussed today. And I'm, I'm happy to be here. I love it. And thank you. Thank you a lot. Thanks. Thanks. And, <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye, Jay.